Why, hello people. We have another uh, $1,500 PC build today. This is a gaming build. Obviously, soon I will actually have an editing build up. Um, if you guys want to see more editing builds, like that one when I put it up and, you know, we'll see. If we get to five likes or three likes or anywhere in between there, I'll decide. Uh, I will probably keep doing editing builds. Honestly, I might just do them anyway because I'm interested in that shit because rendering's cool. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, let's get into this build. Uh, for the first part, we have the AMD FX 8350. Uh, four point or four gigahertz eight core processor. This is two hundred dollars uh, on Newegg, and it is a pretty beastly eight core CPU. And especially with next gen consoles using eight cores, obviously this has a much higher clock speed, so you'll be fine for next gen. Period. Obviously, for a fifteen hundred dollar build, you fucking want to be fine for next gen. I mean, goddamn. Um, yep, you'll be able to max out next gen games with this thing. Uh, now for the CPU cooler. We have the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo um, CPU cooler. This right now is actually after the mail-in rebate. It is $30 or $29.98. And it is a beastly CPU cooler for the money. I mean, honestly, it's $30. And you can, well, this card's already at, this uh, CPU anyway is already at 4 gigahertz. But you can push it up to 4.2, 4.4 and still get some damn good cooling. So, yeah, I mean, for an extra 30 bucks, you can add this onto anything and make it overclockable, which is what I love about this CPU cooler. Um, plus, it's easy to install, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, moving on, for the motherboard, we have the Asus Sabertooth 990FX um, 2.0, or R2.0, ATX AM3 Plus, or Socket AM3 Plus motherboard. I cannot speak today. Uh, the price for it is $184.49. Pretty beastly motherboard, upgradable and everything. Um, it's black and gold, honestly. Not the best looking motherboard, but it does match the RAM and CPU cooler and all that good stuff. So, again, whatever. Uh, for the memory, we have the Corsair Vengeance 16 gigabytes, which is two sticks of 8 gigabytes. DDR3 1600 megahertz memory, and that is 149.99. Um, you can buy that on Amazon. Good memory. Um, it's Corsair. What do you expect? Uh, beastly memory. For the storage, we have the, or actually we have two types of storage here, obviously, but I'm going to read you off the SSD first. For the SSD, we have the Samsung 840 Pro 128 gigabyte. Man, I can't talk today once again. Solid state disk. Uh, this sells for... $122.99 on NCIX US, uh, or you could buy it on the Canadian version depending on where you live, obviously. But for the mass storage to store uh, whatever else you might have, we have a Western Digital Caviar Black 2 terabyte drive. Um, again, this has 64 megabytes of cache, so even for a mechanical hard drive, this thing is pretty dang fast. So, yeah, after the promo code, it is $140 on Newegg. Um, moving on to the video card. We have the EVGA GeForce GTX 3GB video card. Uh, this will be able to, you know, play games on higher resolutions, even higher than 1080p. Obviously, no 4K, no... Maybe a triple monitor setup. You could do that if you want, obviously. But, uh, yeah, this card is $510. Uh, I didn't go with the 780 Ti in this build just because it was out of our price range. <clears throat> and for the case, we have the Fractal Design Define R4 with the window. Uh, this is an ATX mid tower case for $110. And I love this case, honestly. It's got some really nice build quality. Uh, it is kind of just a cheaper version of the Corsair Obsidian series in a way. Obviously, the Corsair Obsidian series has better build quality just in general, but this case is beastly because it has sound absorbing pads and uh, pretty silent. The fans it comes with are actually uh, Fractal Define or Fractal Designs silent fans. I don't know exactly what series they are, but they are some damn quiet fans and uh, yeah, good build quality. 
good size case, uh, silent, yeah, not much more you can want from a case. And last but not least, we have the power supply, which is the Corsair Professional 750 watt, 80 plus gold certified uh, power supply. This after the mail-in rebate is ninety dollars, and it is a beastly power supply. Let it. Let me see how much wattage we are using. We're using 498 watts in this build. Obviously, that's not exact, depending on what you're doing, but nonetheless, um, this is a beastly power supply. And yeah, you'll be able to overclock, add new parts, add new graphics card if you want uh, to upgrade in the future, add a new hard drive, whatever you may want to do. And yeah, you'll be able to max out current gen games and max out next gen games for a couple of years to come. So anyways, if you like this video, hit it up with a like in the like thing below where likes are stashed. So you could just hit that with your forehead and that would be much appreciated. Um, let's see if we can hit five likes on this video. That would be awesome. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Post videos daily. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.